So for this chill call, um, both circuits tripped on a low saturation alarm. Um, we got here, checked it, started it up. Now I condemned uh, compressor one a while back. Somehow it got re-enabled. Um, it's got about 30 million ohms on the resistance to ground with a mega, which is borderline. So the moment that compressor got hot after running for any length of time, it would it would trip out on overload so anyway uh, somehow I got somebody unlocked it we're gonna lock that circuit back out we're about to turn circuit 2 back on while we had circuit 1 running just testing it see why it was tripping you know since it was running um, we were we found that the unloader solenoid is bad completely toast on that compressor so it needs a new solenoid on the unloader on top of the fact that the motor windings are are, uh, are shot, we're about to start up circuit two and uh, see how its motor's doing. And essentially what we were doing is I took and uh, was testing the amperage on the motor and then I was uh, using my terminals here for the load and unload and just kind of manually controlling the wires and I found that it didn't matter what I did, I wasn't getting anything through my unloader coil. So I finally shut it all down, came down here to the common block, ohmed it out, and sure enough, my loader coil was still good at like 246 ohms, but my unload coil was reading like 480,000 ohms. So that coil is clearly toast. Um, so we're gonna get this back online. We'll check circuit two, see what it's doing and yeah pretty basic nothing too big to it so hopefully they'll approve that compressor or approve a new chiller whichever they choose first here soon well so we got circuit two to come on and sure enough the it was tripping out on low saturation we monitored it we verified the exv was opening uh you can see there's some visual leaks on the system uh, that are kind of obvious especially on the liquid line the liquid line isolation valve is or at the service valve is uh, very heavy oil residue so anyway um, customer left so we're gonna try to come back in the morning and uh, see about getting it charged up but uh, yeah so we decommissioned circuit one due to the uh, the motor windings reading bad and then you also have the solenoid that was bad and what cued me to that was my amperage was way too high you know starting up and it just maintained there I was basically sitting at 80% amperage the entire time it was on and running it never really fluctuated off of that and so it just that's too much you know you go to the the other chiller that is working and it's it's got its compressors unloaded down to you know 40 percent to maintain load it just it's not that hot today and so you know we shouldn't be have to we shouldn't be seeing 80 percent on the compressor and it and it be functioning properly so when I saw that and you know I, I did the video the other day of a similar issue except the, th that time it wasn't the solenoid being bad it was the actual unloader was stuck. I was worried this one was stuck until I just I was getting some really weird readings on the in the in the uh, the coil voltage didn't feel right on the um, on the magnet magnetism it was pulsing it was really strange so that's when I shut it all down ohmed out the coils and found that the one coil was basically open uh, it was way too high of resistance so anyway I'm tired but I still got one more call to go and guess what I didn't get to any paperwork today